This really has nothing to do with pistol. This is just general pass concepts, and I'm kind of assuming you already know how to defend it. But on all the pistol DVDs that I've seen, and I've got several of them by different coaches, and the game film, this tends to be what they try to do. Okay, just some basic stuff. Obviously, four verticals. Um, and like I said previously, the, the answer to this, the answer to this is go to 3D lineman, 3D lineman, and either by substitution or by dropping a guy back. So if, you put, if this guy could, could reroute and guard the flats, have him drop back, and now you got two safeties. It could, be a, it could even be a, uh, um, you know, after they get out of their huddle, you shift to that. Um, or by personnel, by personnel, take a D lineman out, put another outside backer in, or leave your outside backer and bring in a nickel back, okay? So you could go with the four, but you know what? Like I said in my previous videos, uh, the, the, verticals, the verticals don't hurt, 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 worry us. They don't worry us because our rule is reroute, eyes on one. As long as one climbs, we climb, okay? And we keep running with that. Obviously, he splits. He's trying to get in a passing window, so they have to throw it over his head. So we have two guys, so it's got to be a perfect throw. As long as one climbs, so I've got a corner in the middle, and he weaves, and he doesn't go for any pump fake. The ball has to leave the hand, and then he breaks. Then he breaks, okay? Um, if you felt like it was a threat, and the quarterback was really good, and these slot guys were really good, then, then um, you'd, you'd have to have the two safeties in and defend this. Um, I would like to do without personnel because when they're in their running package with a tight end and the two running backs, I want to be, I want to be in my 4-4. So I would, I, would want, I would rather have a way that when they come to the 2-2 two two, that one of your DNs go out and one of your outside backers drop back. Okay, all hitches, all hitches, right? No big deal. Five yard hitches, okay? He's on the inside, he's rerouting. When he sees a hitch, he sprints to it. This guy shouldn't be belling, right? He's got everything underneath, so we, we should, we should uh, just all be rallying to that. All be rallying into that. Arrow slant, arrow slant. Your inside backers have to get heavily involved because he is gonna fly opening up that window, and they gotta get there. Now, because he hits so fast, the quarterback doesn't have time to look the safety off. So if the safety gets in his eyes, the safety gets his eyes and gets over there, he can rob also. What if the quarterback looked and then tried to come back? Well, now by now, that's a post. But now he's over the top, and it's a deeper throw, and we can defend it. So we're not worried about the looking off. So our Falcon can get in his eyes on that and, 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 and kind of be weaving over there. And because he saw two go underneath, he can leave on, on palm off. He doesn't have to wait for the ball to leave the quarterback's hands because his eyes are on two, and he can see the two left, and they can take care of that. The outside backer have to take care of the wheel route. Hitching out. Okay, corner should have a big, big play of that. Okay, we're gonna reroute and fly, rally. Don't forget, these guys have their hands up. Fly to it, fly to it, okay? And, and he's doing pretty much doing the same thing as he did before. He, he's going to read the quarterback's eyes because it's such a short game.